Hello, G.I. Joe action figure fans and collectors. JCC2224, um, bringing you a G.I. Joe, um, toy review. And today is of the brand new G.I. Joe Retaliation, um, Red Ninja. Now, as you all know, Retaliation has been pushed back until next year. And that is why G.I. Joe Retaliation toys will be, um, actually be called until that time. Um, because, you know, they just don't want the toys out there when the movie's not. So instead, Hasbro, or I think the retailers, um, told us that instead, G.I. Joe's place will be filled by, um, The Amazing Spider-Man and The Avengers. Wow. But, um, I was able to see new G.I. Joe Retaliation toys. I only picked up two. The only other two I was interested in were Snake Eyes and The Cobra Trooper. I just decided to get a uh, Red Ninja and um, Cobra Commander. Right there, the evil and mysterious Red Ninjas help carry out secret cro Cobra missions from their mo mountain top dojo. These masters of mid-air battles use their zip lines and ninja swords to attack everyone who dares to enter. Certainly a gimmicky description of the um, character and figure. But this um, review will be of the figure in the package. There is the toy. Now I must say, detailing is really, really added to this toy. Being a repaint of the rare G.I. Joe 30th Anniversary um, Storm Shadow figure, this is certainly a really, really nice guy. I think this is one of the rarer figures from the wave, and this was the only one I saw, as well as Cobra Commander and, unfortunately, the um, Cobra Trooper. Um, instead of an image of the character, you get an image of the figure, which is kind of, uh, not really a big fan, because the figure's there, figure's there, figure's there, figure's there, we don't need another image of the figure. And, um, on the top, you get an image of Dwayne the Rock Johnson as a roadblock, and Snake Eyes. Now, really, I'm not really looking forward to the movie, I just watched G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra, and honestly... I thought it was a subpar movie. My best, you know, my favorite part was when Zartan was disguised as the president whistling in the office. And for an action movie, that's not a, you know, it's not usually the most positive choice of a favorite um, scene for an action movie. But um, he does come with a zip line with all of his little wires and cords. I think he has some behind there. No, it's just a little pamphlet. And, um, certainly a nice figure. I think he's super articulated to G.I. Joe standards of modern day. Um, he has a ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders and elbows, ball hinged wrists, um, ball hinged torso. The G.I. Joe articulation of the hips, I just call it G.I. Joe articulation. Dual hinged knees and ball hinged ankles to my, to the best of my ability. He also comes with two swords which do not have a sheath. And I already showed you the zipline. So that is really, really it with this toy review of the new G.I. Joe Retaliation Red Ninja. Sorry I wasn't able to um, get him out of the package. I'm really not sure if I should open him yet or not. But here are the other figures that are showing you again. I hope to get Snake Eyes sometime if I see him. I've only seen, um, the G.I. Joe Retaliation toys, um, like, 30 minutes driving distance from my house because it just went on a toy run, um, to a place not close to me. Got this at Kmart. I thought Kmart stopped, stopped, um, stocking up on G.I. Joe, but I guess I'm wrong. So that's really it with this toy review. Have a good day, and yo, Joe.